hello everyone so in today's video i am going to discuss about few service now best practices so which uh, we should be uh, following uh, in order to maintain a uh, neat and clean service now instance for your customer so a uh, few best practices i am going to explain today and further you will be seeing other best practices in the coming videos so first best practice uh, while writing the code uh, you should always follow is uh, comment your code so comment should be well written and clear in your code okay especially on complicated sections it is good if you are mentioning the good comments so if you see the example here like where count is equal to zero if count is greater than max well so here if you see we have commented initialize variable so it is saying like what exactly uh, the line is doing we are just initializing the variable and then at if statement if you see check if we are overall limit so basically whatever we are doing if we will put the proper comment it will be easy to maintain the codes in future so it gives easy maintainability and if a new uh, person or developer looks into the code it is easy for him to understand and if there is any issue in the code uh, it can be easily resolved the next thing is white space and indentation in your code uh, it is always good to use empty line and spaces to make code more readable than the format code button in ServiceNow syntax editor toolbar is useful for adjusting the indentation so you can use ServiceNow uh, syntax editor toolbar to you do the proper indentation and also it is good to use uh, spaces between the lines so that code is more readable and uh, other persons and even uh, after some time if you will look into your code itself it will be a uh, good for you to understand okay the next thing is uh, use descriptive variable and function names so many times we used to give just uh, variables name x y z a b c that is not good actually so always use a proper name for a variable defini definition and a function definition so when you are going to define a variable or a function it will be good if you define a good name or maybe give your comment to that function what exactly this function is doing so again back to uh, row number two like commenting your code so meaningful names for functions and variable better indicate to reader the purpose of code okay so don't you just a b c x y z all those things if you see the example there the function name is mentioned as delete if cancelled so it is uh, the function name itself is saying like what exactly this function will do and then variable answer is equal to zero then state value it is saying like okay there is something happening with the state then uh, glide record not a dot delete record so basically it should uh, properly indicate what exactly that variable is doing or the function is doing okay next uh, avoid complex glide record queries okay rather than creating a series of add query and add or co condition calls to obtain a result use the add encoded query to make the query easier to create and maintain so basically it is good if you avoid putting add query object dot add query object dot add query maybe 10 add queries you are putting so rather you can use add encoded query this generator encoded query using list view or write it down and just use add encoded query uh, using the add encoded query function okay for complex glide record queries it is easier to create a query string by generating encoded query string through a filter and using the string with encoded query next we uh, got is like use glide aggregate for the simple counting so if you need to uh, get the row count 
you have two options get row count method from the glide record or glide aggregate using glide record uh, to row counts can cause scalability issue as table grows over the time because it retrieves every record with query and then counts them so basically it doesn't impact you when you have less number of records in your table but uh, by the time table will grow there could be lakhs of record to lakhs 10 lakhs maybe and at the time uh, add get row count basically queries all those 10 lakh records and then gets the count so basically uh, it impacts the system however if you will use glide aggregate it will not impact. So glide aggregate gets its result from built-in database functionality, which is much quicker and doesn't suffer from scalability issues that glide record does. So if you will follow uh, these, some basic practices while writing your code in ServiceNow, it is easy and uh, to re easy to read and basically, it doesn't impact system much and basically you are compliant to service now best practices okay so i hope you all will be following these best practices thank you for uh, listening and watching the video i will be back with uh, some more best practices video and uh, videos on other topics as well thank you